Energy storage is a hot topic right now. Prices are falling and expected to fall more still. Homeowners are considering adding this to their solar systems to protect against inclement weather, power outages, and just for overall peace of mind. So let's talk about energy storage and your options to go forward with it. There are multiple battery or storage options, particularly lead acid, lithium ion, or saltwater batteries to consider. They come in multiples of 4 kilowatt hours and generally have a lifespan between 10 and 20 years, or 10,000 to 20,000 cycles. The way to determine how much storage you need is to first look at your daily load. Then you have to look at how long you want that daily load to operate. That's referred to as the autonomy. To determine the daily load, you have to calculate all of the machines and all the motors and everything you have running in the home and for how long. This can be a little complicated or in-depth, so for speed and ease, what we're going to do is look at a typical monthly electricity bill and then divide that by 30. So now in Florida, it's rare to have more than three days without sunlight. So the idea would be to have two days of autonomy, but someone could go with critical loads for emergency autonomy that can last longer than that or focus on just getting one day. It's all a matter of cost effectiveness. So to give a very rough estimate, we can look at a home that uses 1,000 kilowatt hours per month. Divide that number by 30, that gives us about 33 kilowatt hours per day. Now we particularly just need to focus on the times when the sun is down, so we'll look at that in terms of 12 hours. That would give us 16 kilowatt hours of storage capacity to give one day of autonomy. 32 kilowatt hours for two days of autonomy. So now, a smaller storage capacity can be used when focusing just on critical loads. Please note, this example is very cursory and someone should always focus on ways that they can reduce their power to maximize effectiveness of their storage bank. Storage for this example would be a bit of a higher investment compared to using a generator. However, storage bank is more versatile than using a generator because a storage can be used daily and in emergencies, while a generator is only used seldomly and in those emergency circumstances. Solar by itself makes financial sense, and adding storage is a viable option to give more peace of mind. Note that it is expandable. Someone could start off with emergency capabilities and then expand their storage capacity for multiple days of autonomy. It's all about determining the most cost-effective path for you. As an energy advisor, I help you find out your solar options. The most important action is to simply go solar. We all have a role to play in the renewable future of Florida. Crew makes it simple to go solar. All we have to do is look at your latest electricity bills to complete a solar assessment. Email your latest electricity bills to the address below and I'll get back to you with your solar options. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date on the pathway to going solar. Now I want all of you to go forth and spread sunshine.